welcome to Feed Dump for this, the 420th episode of Feed Dump, a very special episode of Feed Dump, and alas, the last episode of Feed Dump, because we always said when we hit 420 episodes, how could this show get any danker and any memier? And it was time then to send it out to the great trash dumpster in the sea and give it the burial it so richly deserved, covered in concrete and uh, crustacean poop. Anyhow, uh, for this episode, this last 420th, I mean, <clears throat> 337th, uh, 420th episode of Feed Dump, where are all the number of appearances we have made, including this one. Uh, these stats helpfully compiled by our chat mod, MTVCDM. All right, so, uh, I'm Kathleen, and I've been here for 227 appearances. Not bad. Joining me this week is Graham, who has 190. It's not a contest, though if it was, I lost. Look, there is no one true host of Feed Dump, and if there is, it's Kathleen. And Cameron Lauder, who has 99. Didn't get there. Just didn't get there. Brendan Beach Dairy with 86 appearances. That is some Maxwell smart shit. Serge Yeager, who has 45 appearances. 45? I don't look a day over 30. Ian Horder, who comes in with 50 appearances. And I was so looking forward to your second kid so I could get back in that hosting chair. That is not happening. Also not happening is Alex Stacy, who has 69 appearances and didn't want to come into this episode and ruin his streak. <music> Authorities in Mexico confiscated a tiger cub that someone had attempted to ship by post. They were checking packages for contraband and they found uh, one package contained a tranquilized and asleep tiger cub. Uh, the tiger cub was totally fine and in fact legal but it was confiscated because uh, you're not allowed to ship tigers through the mail, and they thought that was inhumane. Cam? K. A 33-year-old Tennessee man was arrested after a car accident where he rolled his truck five times because he told police that he wanted to let Jesus take the wheel. Jesus is not a good driver, apparently. One, he's 33 years old. Really? Two, I guess Jesus needs his dash cam gifts. The amazing thing about this story is that though the truck was impounded for three days, it came back out perfectly fine. Jesus, however, is still in a coma. Beach, his name is Jesus, and there are a lot of people named Jesus. So we were doing our jokes like normal, and Graham realized he could do like a picture-in-picture -picture with the ATEM software, but make it look really dumb. So here's like a highlights reel of just us fucking around for five minutes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> uh, wow. Could we just have his mouth on top of Beach's face? Yes, we could. Yes, we could. <laughs> oh, no. This is something that shouldn't be. <laughs> hey, Ian, how about you do my next joke? Tennessee traffic law actually states that if you roll the truck six times, you get away scot-free. And a free mini-sub. Oh, right, so okay. Kelly what, else, what else does this... There we go. Oh, no. oh wow. Oh Jesus. <laughs> That's unsettling. <laughs> hey, it's Beach. I've got a mustache now. I'm suave. <laughs> knock knock, open up the door, it's me. <laughs> With my furry face and fucked up teeth. Ah <laughs> <laughs> This guy's plan fell apart. When you remember that Jesus was born in Bethlehem almost 2,000 years ago, how's he gonna know how to drive an F-150? This is like a really high stakes game of the price is right when you're spinning the wheel and you're like, tick, 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 tick. Do I die? Do I go to jail? Do I die? Do I go to jail? You're like, ah, jail. Wow, things took a dark turn after Drew Carey became host. Yeah, you don't want to see the new plane come. <laughs> what if it actually worked? What if Jesus actually took the wheel but if I remember my catechism correctly, his blood alcohol ratio is one to one. Wow. Wow. That hey. is the best joke of this bit. Congratulations. Two Toronto police officers who ingested marijuana edibles thought they were hallucinating and then called for backup only to have the backup arrive, slip on a patch of ice, wipe out, and then get a head injury, have been suspended for being dumbasses. Kathleen, I don't care about the story. 
in five months, weed's going to be legal here in Canada, and the cops are really just getting a head start to everyone getting high and eating shit all day. I'm looking forward to Timmy's just jamming donuts full of weed, and we can pass that Dutchie to the left. Tim Hortons, a probably Canadian-owned donut and a hot brown liquid chain, makes a donut that they call the Dutchie. It doesn't have any weed in it currently. Bob Marley, I'm assuming, made a song at one point about weed, where you pass a whatever it is, to the left-hand side, and I think it sounds like Dutchie. And that's the joke. Really, Beach? I always thought that song was about the repatriation of unneeded dukedoms in Europe. Ian, on Feed Dump, I'm only sure about what other people tell me to say. That song was by Musical Youth. I was once a Musical Youth. No. Liar? Past the Dutchie Pani Lep and Side. Past the Dutchie Pani Lep and Side. It's a go bon. Police in Scotland got called into a 45-minute armed standoff with a mysterious intruder in a barn that turned out to be a stuffed tiger. This is why, given the choice, you always pick the lady. What? 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 Oh, anytime I hear about tigers, I'm always reminded of the 1882 short story by Stockton, The Lady or the Tiger. What? 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 Is a stuffed tiger in a barn better or worse than a sleeping tiger in the mail. Callbacks. What? Oh my god, we did a story about a tiger cub! Oh my god! Yes, Beej, we did a story about a tiger cub earlier, and it was great! You're fired, if it wasn't the last episode. So you're getting a warning. If it took them 45 minutes, what were the tiger's demands? If it's anything like my experience with stuffed tigers, it was either shoot all of the red out of the paper star or fill the clown's mouth with old water. Did someone swat the tiger? Yeah, sure. Just imagine trying to swat somebody with Scottish police. There's a tiger in your barn. You fuck off out of it. I'm not dealing with that. So the police in Peterhead, Aberdeenshire. Ah, yes, the city of eggplant. Hey, unrelated, are we going to tell Serge that the other word for eggplant is aubergine, not Aberdeen? No. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, look what I found! What the fuck is that? It's the battery pack for the T-Rex costume. It's, it was in the feed dub hat box for no good reason. What asshole put it in there? Wasn't me. It might have been me. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. I just know it wasn't me. I'm calling it now. No, I don't think I would never have tidied up. That's not my damn. We had this the whole time and I had to make a new one? This is mine now. <laughs> don't put it down your pants. Show dominant some other way. <laughs> hey, back to that tiger on the ramp. Do you think he was trying to get, like, wicked air? Okay, that about calls it for episode 420. It's kind of sad because, you know, it's not that we didn't love doing feed dump, but we were maybe a little burned out on it. But now that we don't give a shit, this episode was super fun. Um, but this is the feed dump hat inbox. So as you can see, there's still a lot of hats and this, which is part of an exam costume. Um, but you know what? That's okay. We're going to find a way to use the hats in, in our upcoming Untitled Next project. So until next time, remember, there may be better sources of news and you should probably consider checking them out because this one is not... I mean... There may, there probably aren't better defunct sources of news, let's put it that way. Uh, oh, you know what, if I had, if, if I was the kind of person who would cry, I might experience a little bit of sadness here. Uh, but, eh, not really a feelings type. So, uh, until next time, which will be a little while, because we're still working on a new thing, but we think you're going to like it. Until next time, there may be better sources of news, but they don't have this hat. Feed dump out. Oh. We're on par with Al Jazeera America. Oop.
it's good night from Channel 2.